this video, we take a look at storage options for Stable Diffusion. Now, it seems to me about once every decade, we hear a story of one of the data manufacturing companies having a disastrous public relations experience with one of their devices just chewing up people's data and destroying everything in its path. This year, it seems to be SanDisk and their parent company, Western Digital. But this happens maybe about once a decade. And we now see that Western Digital are going to be spinning off the SanDisk business to whoever will buy it. And that story goes to show no matter how careful you are with your backup procedures, you always find that there's some product out there that's so bad it could end up destroying your data. So let's take a look at what options there are for preserving our data with stable diffusion and getting the kind of speed that we need. Now, when we take a look at the relative speeds of different storage devices, we find that NVMEs are the fastest by a long shot. And on this chart, this chart actually is not quite accurate. The NVMEs can get about twice as fast as shown on this chart. And hard drives are no longer very fast. What might be a bit surprising is that the SSD, the typical SSD is actually closer to the hard drive in performance than to the NVMe. When we take a look at the cost per GB for the cost of uh, every gigabyte, we find that the NVMEs, which sometimes seem very expensive, are actually not that expensive. They are actually just a little bit more expensive than the SSDs, and they do run a lot faster than the SSDs. So they're probably the best option if you need data storage that is extremely fast. And as we shall find out, the NVMe drives sometimes cost exactly the same as the SSD drives. The hard drives are still the best option for cheap storage. Now, having said that, I wouldn't recommend the hard drives because they're just not fast enough for stable diffusion. Another issue with the hard drives is that they have the fastest failure rate. They fail far more frequently than the SSDs and the NVMEs. Now, I'll have a list of recommended devices uh, below, but what we want to do here is just to take a look at what's available in the market so you can get an idea of what's decent and what you can actually use practically with stable diffusion. What you want with stable diffusion is hardware that's fast, that doesn't thermal throttle very quickly, and that isn't very expensive. Probably the ideal solution is something like this crucial one terabyte SSD. This is not an internal SSD. It's a USB 3.2 SSD. So with this one, you get speeds of a thousand megabytes per second. That is nearly twice as fast as the typical SSD drive. And the cost at $69.99 for one terabyte is extremely convenient. Now this one allows you to connect to your PC and you don't have to open up and insert and install anything. You can just use it via USB, but you do have to have that USB 3.2 connector in order to get these sorts of speeds. Another option is once again from Crucial, the X10. This guy gives us again one terabyte and it's a bad boy that can run up to 2100 megabytes per second. That's read and write. For stable diffusion, read is probably a little bit more important than write. These speeds are about six times faster, about, no, about four times faster than the speeds you'll get inside of the typical SSD drive. That's because of the limitation of the SATA connection, which we use for SSD drives. USB 3.2 can run a lot faster. And in my view, this type of very durable device for USB 3.2 is exactly the kind of use that we should be putting USB 3.2 to. One thing I would suggest is that you can actually store most of your models on a device such as this. So you could put quite a lot of your models, just dump them onto this uh, device. You can access them very quickly uh, with the storage running at 2100 megabytes per second is not going to thermal throttle very easily. And I think the cost for this one is fairly reasonable. It's almost, almost achieving the sort of speeds that we get with NVMe drives. Now, talking of NVMe drives, there's no question that NVMe drives are much better than SSDs because they have faster speeds. This one here runs at about six times faster than SSD drive. And it also has the benefit that it has much, much lower latency. Now there are two options. You can have one with a heat sink and one without a heat sink. I think the heat sinks just help to dissipate heat, making things run faster. And they also allow 
the device i'm told that it makes the device survive a little bit longer but these come with a five-year warranty so you shouldn't be too concerned about the, the longevity of the device now at 119 dollars for two terabytes this is actually more affordable than the crucial external usb drive that we were looking at earlier so if you have got the ability to open up your case and install one of these inside the case um, they can be a little bit finicky to to install they can be a little you have these tiny little screws that you have to install on the on the on the uh, notch there and it kind of feels like you're going to break them when you're inserting them using the uh using the uh, notched interface there but you know it's something that you have to do uh, once in a in a rare while and at two terabytes for 120 dollars it is pretty decent value and these guys like i say they run about six times faster than an ssd drive about 20 times faster than a hard drive so they're definitely worth the uh worth the extra effort now one thing you'll find with these ones is that sometimes you you have to pay a little bit more for the faster speeds so this one here uh, which I'll link to is currently is 7,000 megabyte. It's about half the speed of the fastest ones that are available at $120, $130 and really fast speeds, really good brand, Sabrent and five-year warranty. I think this is pretty decent value. But um, the other one we were looking at, that was just half the speed of this one. So sometimes you do find with the extra price, there's much, much extra performance. And if you are looking for an SSD drive, um, there's nothing wrong with these ones. They're much faster than the hard drives and they're much less likely to thermal throttle. If you try to run stable diffusion on a hard drive, it's gonna start thermal throttling pretty quickly and you'll get very, very slow speeds, about 10 megabytes per second. These ones will eventually thermal throttle and they'll thermal throttle to about 20 megabytes per second, but they do so much slower than the hard drives. At $50, this one is one that could be useful to you if you have a, a SATA slot inside your PC. Um, sometimes people have very few NVMe slots, which makes them uh, impossible to, to, to install. But as we can see here, the crucial, and this is the point that I was making earlier, the crucial one terabyte NVMe drive, another good brand, is actually just $52. So it's a couple of dollars more than the SSD drive, but it is running about, well, that's about six times faster, seven times faster than the, than the SSD drive. And it has much lower latency as well. So things speed up all around. So I would say the NVMe drives make a lot more sense if you have the ability to install them and you also have space inside your PC.